check in with our old buddy Mark Williams and see what he's up to. I understand he's got some interesting plans. MarkTalk.com is his website. Talk show host, author of Taking Back America, One Tea Party at a Time. Former leader of the Tea Party Express. And now, what's your position now, Mark? Well, these days, uh, just stirring it up. Um, just stirring it up. Okay. Just stirring it up. I, I took, uh, I actually took... Uh, a, a website that had been set up by some progressive groups to uh, to combat the Tea Party Express when we arrived in Boston just about a year ago, uh, last April. And I, I took the tactics and the strategy that they outlined for their members to follow. I it took out the words Tea Party Express, inserted SEIU, changed around some of the slogans to uh, to be mocking the SEIU as opposed to mocking the Tea Party Express, and published it and suggested that people you know, employ those tactics at an SEIU roadshow scheduled to arrive in Sacramento this afternoon. Right. Well, the SEIU took that, just went absolutely ape. It went viral. Uh, they, it, it's just, it has now turned into a nationwide movement where people uh, and here in Sacramento, and I'll, I'll be joining them on, on the sidewalk at the state capitol at 530 tonight, will be facing down the uh, the union folks who just believe that the taxpayer exists to support them. And oh, wait a second, SEIU, the taxpayer is there to say, I think you're, mix, you're sure, mixing them up well, with AFSCME. SEIU yeah. is mostly, you know, janitors, nurses, uh, the, you know, it, they're, they're it, service it employees. Union, union actually here in California. Uh, and and they're, they're just standing on a nationwide roadshow to support the uh, the public unions in, in, in Wisconsin. Sure, well, why not? Who are, who are, who so, are, so what you're uh, suggesting, let me just summarize this. I, I, you know, I've got your thing here. You say... I signed up as an organizer. With any luck, they'll yep. contact me, and I'll have an in. If and not, did. I will be there. Now, you did you did sign up as an organizer, right, Mark? I did, but they didn't take me on as an organizer. They simply called back to make sure that I would uh, that I would actually show up. I signed okay. up under my own name, in fact. But, okay, uh, was, so they called back to make sure you're there. You said that you're going to show up in SEIU T-shirts, and if not, you can buy them from the vendors there. You you, yep. you on board with that? Yeah, so far. Okay, and uh, you, you're making up some absurd signs that you're going to hide under your T-shirts, like screw the taxpayer and you owe me, and you're going to look for TV cameras and reporters, while, and if you can get any of them in your range uh, with your SEIU T-shirts on, you're going to pull out these uh, screw the taxpayer signs and make it look like SEIU people are crazy. Got, yeah. Do I have that and right? As, as it, as it, so far, and as it turns out, that'll not only be completely unnecessary, but mild by comparison. Of the thousands of responses by, by email and in the comment section of my website that I got, I could only allow several dozen to be published before a denial of service attack took my site down last night. It will be up again in a couple hours. That's interesting. And, and so, was, so know, a question for you, Mark. Death threats and obscenity laced obscenities and, and, and literal, honest to God, screw the taxpayer comments. And I left them up. And <laughs> you know, if you go to Facebook and search Mark Williams, you'll find me there. I put up some of the stuff on my Facebook page. The, uh, the union made it unnecessary for me to do any of that. So I am joining the, uh, the Tea Party patriots and others who are gathering on the sidewalk to make sure that the cameras see us for who we are. Uh, it would be. And who are you? Uh, uh, we're, we're the people who pay the bills for these folks. And here in California, you, you, just the pension liability alone, we're half a trillion dollars in debt to these people. They think we're trying to take something away from them. There's nothing to the, give the, them. You, you might want to talk away. to the banksters who robbed the pension funds all across this country, Mark, and you know yeah, that well, as well as I do. It doesn't matter who did it. It's a Ponzi scheme. It's, and it's the what? banksters so in, a, in, in New York City, the guys who are making up. billions of dollars. I, I have a question for you. Just just a, a serious question. We're talking with Mark Williams, sure. the, the old Tea Party guy and MarkTalk.com. Uh, if you're saying that what you did was basically something that was set up to sabotage a Tea Party program. Yes. And I don't recall. I'm also based on my. I, no, no, no. Uh, let me, let me, may may I finish my question here? These people I actually have a question for you, Mark. Topic. Yes. And, and, and I'd love to hear your answer. Progressives, okay. trained, progressives trained me in these tactics. Okay, so the, so the, the progressives... So, Mark, come on, don't make yes. me put you on hold. Here, hang on. Right, Just okay. let me get a question out here. Okay, sure so you're enough. saying the progressives said that they were going to do this to the Tea Party, and yes. you've taken these tactics, and you're going to do it to yes. SEIU. Yes. I don't recall any story ever... And I've, on many occasions on this program, said that people should go to Tea Party rallies 
Only my call isn't to make them look stupid. It's to find areas of, of agreement that they should go holding signs saying, you, you know, get us out of the World Trade Organization from? and things like that. Where do you, where do you think but, that witch doctor sign came from? But, where do you think that Obamacare poster uh, with Obama as a witch doctor came from? That well, I'm, from I, you people. know, I really don't think I don't see. Actually, when you when you track those things down, you typically find that they come from the Lyndon LaRouche people. You know this no, as well as uh, I do, Mark. The Lyndon LaRouche people will give you the uh, the nine eleven truther stuff. They'll give you the birther stuff. And they've got the uh, and they've got the posters with with Obama with the mustache on it, and they've got you know all the weird stuff. So I mean, yeah, I've I i do not know of any successful and I and you know I mean you guys have got billionaires on your side. Certainly somebody would have done it. Any successful outing of anybody who has successfully tried to infiltrate and make look stupid a Tea Party group. And and you say that when you say to the guys on the right, hey, let's infiltrate the union and make them look stupid, you're overwhelmed with people who want to do it. And oh, so my question it's to you is, succeeded. why is it that liberals are not so interested in engaging in sabotage, uh, although they may fantasize about it on a website, and conservatives are just lining up to do it? Well, first of all, we don't have to. Uh, what I The stunt I pulled... The union supporters and the SEIU people to reveal themselves and do it themselves. If, if you go, so you think that the SEIU members are going to pull out signs that say "Screw the taxpayer, you they're owe me." The, they're all over the World Wide Web right now with these kinds of comments. They're eviscerating me, the taxpayer. Anybody who thinks that that they're that these people are not entitled to suckle up the public nipple for the rest of eternity. They're doing it to themselves. That was the whole point. That's the punchline. Hey, of Mark, what I, I did. get it that you don't want working people out. to have a decent wage. I get it that you're doing the work of the billionaires and the millionaires and hoping to become one yourself oh, yeah, one day. A fortune you know, yeah. I you know, I get I you know, I get where you're coming from. Um yeah. I don't I don't want to personalize this too much, but it's it's like there's no need to trash working people. Well, it's the working people who are standing up against the unions right now. It's the working people who are standing up against the public unions that have them. Have them you think people in a union don't have a job? What they have is an entitlement to the future earnings of our grandchildren, or at least they think they have that entitlement. There's nothing. You mean because they paid into a pension for 30 years? And the concept of zero. And then somebody in New York City ripped off that pension fund? There's nothing to give them. They don't get it. They they, they act like a bunch of petulant uh, petulant Greeks, you know, rioting for for their entitlements. Well, you know what? The gravy train. Greece got ripped off by New York, too. You know, here's the thing that really baffles me, Mark, is Ronald Reagan, your icon put over a thousand banksters in prison when they robbed the SNLs back in 1986. Yeah, he, didn't he put over a thousand of them in jail. Yeah. About the only guy who got out who had, who made off with a million bucks was Neil Bush. He was about the only one who didn't go to jail. Silverado, savings and loan. And, mm-hmm. of course, his daddy was head of the CIA at the time, as I recall, or else he was in yep. Congress. And, and why, when the banks went down with, with Bush, Bush did not put any of those banksters in prison. Or for that matter, why Obama doesn't right now? I am you baffled. You want me to defend Bush? Give me a break. I'm not going to. De- Bush fed these people. Obama's feeding them even more. Uh, the, the banksters. Last president we had, the last president we had who cared a whit for the for the working people in this country was Reagan. He was the only one who cared enough to worry about where the money would come from to pay the public workers. Wait, wait in a minute. The future Reagan, who ran up the, the biggest debt in the, the history of America. Of he knew we would all run out Reagan, of money. who raised taxes on working people more than an, the largest tax increase on working people in the history of America and the largest tax cut on the wealthy. That's he the guy you're, you're holding up raised, as, a, as fiscal sanity. The guy who, who came into office with less than a trillion dollars in debt and, and left with over $3 trillion in debt? Yeah, that'd be the guy. That guy. Okay. All right. Mark Williams, MarkTalk.com. Mark